First three match, lose. Three match. Oh, Robert, you shit, you crazy, you amazing. See, okay, it's like this, okay? You have to wait. And after that, we win, we finish number three. But maybe if I, if I lose three more match, I'm out. But at that time, if I'm not there, it's finished for them. For sure, because I'm the only one who believe in them. And they let them play. You say, I say, coach, you let them play. They play, they play, they play. They're too young. They, I don't care. Let them play. If they make mistake, they're gonna make mistake, sure. But they need to play, play, play. If you scare to lose your job, you will not do like this. Huh? You will put all players to win and the young boys stay there. Because what happened in two years, you don't care. In two years, you're very far. Um, I came here 15 years ago. I start with GMG Academy. This is a professional academy that we build everywhere in the world. We have seven academy. We build in Vietnam, in uh, Ivory Coast, in Belgium, and uh, also in uh, Egypt. After that, with Arsene Wenger and Jean Maguiou, we decide to create an academy here with the support from Arsenal. Uh, after that, I been to uh, to Meng Tong, so I start Meng Tong. I, I bought the team from Meng Tong in Division Three, and uh, we start in Division Three. And after that, uh, Siam Sport helped me to promote the team and to develop the team. I stay in Meng Tong and I build Meng Tong for five years. Everybody know the result that we get. We've been four-time champion. After five years, I sell my shares to Lowi Loi Tong, and then I been to BC Tero, where we develop also. A lot of youth development. We have Bas, we have Nura Narubadin, we have Tanabun, we have Shanatip, we have Adisak, we have many, many players that we build in BC Tero. And now I'm in uh, Rajburi since five years, where we try to build also some, some youth people. We, I bring the most famous player, I bring is Kevin Dilarom and also Philip Roller that I bring from, from nowhere to Thailand and to be national team. So it's 15 years old that I'm. Uh, manager in a Thai professional Premier League so I know the, the, the system about the Thai football and I build from the youth team to the to the professional so I can explain exactly what are the problems and where we can go if we want to improve the, the football. It's the poli long-term policy. There's no long-term policy. They want the board is thinking they want to solve the problem. They have to let sink the board, forget, and start again from point zero. It's not saying, ah, tomorrow we're going to change the coach from national team. What can he do? Nothing. You take another one, and another one, and another one, and it doesn't change nothing. Since 15 years, always the same. So the problem is from the iceberg. You always try to check the top of the iceberg, but you have to check the roots, the roots. The roots is the 12 years old, 14 years old, focus on this. What can you do for this? Is to have a national policy. You cannot expect that the small academies at the corner of the street can do the job. They cannot do it. You have to do, it's very simple, I explained this already since 10 years. You have to create national system. You can make one in the south, in the center and in the north. We are promoted by the football association. And after that, when the kids are 16, 17 years old, you send them to Europe, you send them to Japan immediately. But you send them before they are inside the team. When a player is 23, 24 in Thailand, I get a good example. The best example for me is Tanabun. Tanabun for me was one of the best players in Thailand. He stayed in Thailand too long and now he dropped and he get good level, but the level from Thailand only. If at 18 years old we send them to Europe, this guy can play in Europe. But in Europe, at 18 years old, he will not be in the first, first team. He has to go there, improve with the under 21 and so on and so on. So we have to send the best 30 or 40 good players, two or three from every team, send them there. And maybe the team will not say, I don't need your player. Say, don't worry, take my player, I pay everything. So the FA with the support, with their sponsor. After that, maybe I don't know, 10 of them are going to stay in the European Premier League teams or Japanese or whatever. And this one going to be the roots of the national team. And the 30 or 40 are going to come back, going to be the roots of the Thai League team. What is the main problem today in Thailand? If I ask you, your friend or me, you can make three or four national teams who get the same level. 
I think we get more than 40 or 50 teams, uh, 50 players who get the same level. That's not normal. In, in every, I have, uh, I come from Belgium. In Belgium, we are number one in the world today. But we have only 13 or 14 players of very high level. The other one, they standard, nothing special. But the 14, they go overseas. They go to England, they go to Spain, they go to Italy, everywhere, and there they improve. Because if they stay in the Belgium league, it's nothing. They cannot do it because the Belgium league is too low. So if you try to, what I want to say, you have to work with elite, elite. Professional is elite, it's not quantity. I hear many, th many times, we, we take 100, and in 100 players, we have more chance to, uh, to make players. It's not true. You have more chance to make players with 20 players. And the, the best players play together, and then they improve, they improve, they improve. When you see the achievement in GMG, we never have more than 15 to 20 players. And on the 15, 20, we have 20, 10 players who achieve more than the others who get 100. So I mean, the quality is the most important and the elite. You cannot make elite in Thailand, it's impossible. You have to bring them to Europe, bring them to Japan, and the team have to accept to follow their methodology. So you can start here, 12, 13, 14 years old, in Thailand with the academies, and the best one, send them there, to the best countries. And there they will learn a lot. And the best and the strongest with the spirit gonna learn there and gonna stay there. And this, when they come back, they're gonna bring something to the national team. That's the, th that's the way to do. This is a complex by, from Thai people. Because Thai people, they think, oh, we are small. When you see European, African, they're very big. So they can kill us. But you cannot change the value that you have. You are what you are. You have other qualities. You will never play the same Africans. And the Europeans will never play the same Africans. And the, the, the French will never play the same the Germans. And the, everybody has his own quality. So you have to focus on your own quality. It's, when I see the national team over every team, the main problem is how to defense, how to put the right position on the pitch. When we lose the ball, there's wrong position from everybody, nearly, and in every category. And this has to be improved. But it's not because you are 180 or 185 that you will solve this problem. This problem will be tactically. And of course, when you are smaller, smaller guys, but who are fast, who are technique, you have to focus on ball possession. You don't have to say, we stay seven in defense or in defense and we wait, because you're gonna lose the match anyway. You cannot give the ball to the opponent. You have to keep the ball and you have to control. Try to have 50, 60% ball possession, that's the minimum that you can have. And then you can make results. Football is not like, it's too, too simple, you cannot say, ah, you have to focus more on technique or more on physique or more on this. It's not like that. Football is the, you build the house, you make the roots, you make the sow, you make the panang, lanka, take everything. So everything must be together. If you're missing one, everything falls down. So you cannot say, ah, this is good, this is wrong, this is good, this is... It's a, a political and a philosophy about the football, the way to think football, the way to look football. It's not, ah, now today we're gonna focus only on technique, no. Or only on physique, no. It's the way to think and Thailand need help. But until now, they don't accept to go ask the help from the other countries. Everybody need help, everywhere. So they need help from Europe, because Europe or Japan. This is, I think, the two best, because Japan, they're really good connected here and they know about football. And Europe, of course, is the cradle of the football. All the football is in Europe, nowhere else. And we have more than history in football. We know how to build it. What's wrong? But what, what, what power they have? What they can do? So what is the system they can use? And same, you, you expect result today, but 
I don't see any national camps, real national camps, where you can see the kids from 12 years old. I don't see a goodwill to send the kids to abroad. I don't see that. I just see when already when you see the the, the youth league. The first thing you cut in Thailand is the youth league. You have any problem about money? Cut, cut. No youth league. No youth league. No youth league. The youth league is very important. Very important to develop the youth league everywhere. So this have to focus, and you have to give some money to the youth league to develop the youth league. It's very important, and not say, ah, this year we no have money. We don't do. If you don't have money, take money somewhere else, but do the youth league because the youth league is important. But this is to develop the kids, and on the youth league you have to scout, and you have to take the best kids on this, and you have to bring all those best kids together, together, and not put put two two kids in Kachalaburi, two in Songkla. Three in Phuket and four in Chiang Rai. No, they have to be all together, all together. But to be all together, you need a goodwill. That means you cannot say, "Ah, no, I don't give my kid because I want to win next week again the uh, Ayutthaya." And you want, "Ah, no, I don't want to give my kids also because I will lose against this." So it must come from the FA who will say, "We're gonna develop a real camp." And not only a camp. After we're gonna have a vision, another vision for one or two years. These visions, we start 12. We're gonna clear vision. We start 12 years old. At 14, they're gonna do this. At 15, they're gonna go to Europe. At 18, if they're not good enough, they come back. The other one, they can go there. After that, we get them contract to the best Thai league teams because they can go in every team and so on. So that's a clear vision. And the coaches or the managers are not important. What is important is the vision. You can replace one coach, you can replace one manager, but you have to keep the line and not go. I go this line and then I go that line and I go that line. You have to keep the line for a minimum to four to six years. After six years, you can say we are on the right way or we are on the wrong way, and you have to invest in this line also. You cannot say ah yeah I bring the I, I remember before. 20 years ago, 15 years ago, they try in Nongchok to develop something, and then stop, nothing because no budget, nothing anymore. So they have to give the budget. This must be, must be allowed and give to this to these camps, and only and no cut the budget, whatever it happen for the next six year. That's important, and not say ah oh, next year we no have budget. So that means any coach, any manager you bring now cannot. Make miracles, whatever the name of the coach. At the end, is even spend money for nothing. Take a Thai coach is the same. When you see the result from the Thai coach in national team and the foreign coach, is the same. And when I hear that you happy because you win the Suzuki Cup, sorry, I laughing eh? because Suzuki Cup is very low competition. So it's a fake. You go there, you win. Ah, you proud. You are on the right way. No, nothing changed because you play against the, the the country who have the same policy than you, who are wrong also. The only country who try to develop now is Vietnam, and you can see where they are. They are already better, and before they far, they were far behind Thailand, and now they start to even be better than them. There's two problems. The ambitious from the team, because the team want to be champion, want to win, 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 and win. That's the first problem. So they want to keep their best player. They don't think too much about the future of the player. They think about the future of the team. But this is a little bit understandable, because every team have to be nice with the fan and everything, so they have to help. And also the second thing, when they 23, 24, they have big salary. Because when you reach national team, you have a salary, important salary, three, four hundred thousand. So when you go to Europe, you will go back to sixty thousand, and there you have no, nobody will say thank you and take picture of you. You are nothing. You are nobody. That means when you 22, 23, the, the kids don't want to go. Say why I go kill myself there, and here I have a good life. I'm a superstar. I have good money. That's why you need to send them when they're 17 before they start to go. In the league before, when they go 17, they ready to fight because they still no have big money, no have the no who, no have the no be famous and everything. It's the best time between 16, 18, because when you see the, I see many, many uh, academy in Europe, in Africa and everywhere. The kids from 12, 13, 14, 
they have the same quality here. They are very good. And they start to drop when they're 16, between 16 and 21, because there's no post-education. The post-education is imp important, between 16 and 21. And there you have to send them. Also, the, you send the kids. The kids don't want to learn English. They go to Europe. They're going to say what? What do you have? That's it. So all the partners, all the coaches, not speak with them, and then they keep them behind. Yeah, I want to come back and everything. So this is you have to, you have to learn the kids when 12 years old, start to teach English, learn English, open to the, the, to the food outside and everything to adapt. Because adaptation is not only uh, I'm a good player, I can do it. No, you are psychologically you must be ready to go also, because it's not easy when you go overseas. You're missing your people, you go there, nobody know you. So you need to be ready about this. So it's a work that you do when they are young. When you are 24, 25, another player who's, who was very strong is uh, Terasin Dengda. I get him when he was in Mung Tong, so now he still play. But in Mung Tong, he was a very good player, very good player. He could also go to, to Europe, I'm sure, if he push him. But don't send him to Atletico Madrid. Don't send them to Arsenal, send them to Belgium, to Leuven or whatever, and then he start to play, and then after that maybe he grow or not. And send them when they're 18, 19, not when you're 28 years old, when they're 28, it's too late, it's finished, finished. The first advice I can tell them, don't try to make a professional player from your kids. Let him play, let him enjoy, let him enjoy football. Football is a game where you need to have fun. Don't try to push your self uh, feelings to your kids because you dream to be professional and then you ask to ki your kids to be because you never been professional. So let them play, let them enjoy. And after that, if you have big qualities or big spirit or he can do, okay, then you can start to push him. But he must come from the kids and not from the parents. The kids have to decide if he can go. Because I never see one parents who push the kids a lot. If the kids don't have in mind to do it, it's, it's no way. Let the kids do it. I know everybody dream that the son be professional. But, you know, professional, it's... If I advise the parents, never try to be professional. Never. Because it's so difficult. You have only 200, 100 people who are professional and maybe 5 million who try to be professional. So let the things going on. If it happens, it happens. It doesn't happen, okay, no problem. He can do another job. So always focus on the study of the kids, that he have a good job. And after, if he can play football, okay, it's good. But don't focus too much and don't put all your, your future on this. It's very dangerous.